Okay, it's John again. I've uh, located another target. I think this is a 20 cent piece. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but right in the middle, well, there is a white bit of minty wrapper I screwed and put in a hole. That's roughly where the target is. I've uh, got my CTX 3030. I've got the flies bothering me still. Now, this is on sensitivity of 24. I'll just turn it up to just before it starts to make a noise. About 25, so it goes 25 out of 30. So, don't know what percentage that is, but it's about to fall, it's starting to false now, so it's about as maximum it can go in this sort of ground. Now, I'll go over this target, and it should come up about a 12.23 on the screen, which I'll show you in a sec. Now you can hear that pretty clear. Now that's coming from my wireless unit. A couple of feet away from the camera, there it is down on the ground. Because on the other detector, the speaker's on the back, and that's about a couple of feet from the speaker. Now I'm trying to work out a height. Go back down to the ground level. The detector said it's only one inch below the soil. The screen back is one inch below the soil, which is just to the right of the 1223. There's a few birds above me, which would be right because I'm videotaping. Now the detector actually says it's 8 inches to the target, between 6 and 8, so it's probably about 6 or 7 inches to the ground. Go higher, I lose the signal. Now I'm going to turn this machine off, put it next to me, now grab the Velox. One. Now my settings are same as before, a bit hard to read on the angle, but I'll put it here anyway. It's, I haven't really changed anything. Sensitivity is on about 8 out of 10, so 80%. Ground balance is manual, iron is all just out. Right, I'll get my arm back in it, find the target, which is about the middle of the camera. better when I turn the machine on. So the machine's on, you have heard a noise, you hear another noise, and it's ready to go. There it is there. Clear signal on ground level. Probably about four or five inches off the ground, six inches, still clear. Still a solid signal, starting to miss probably 8 inches high, 9 inches, I reckon it's a little bit deeper than what the CT3030 is, but I'll go on a bit later on, I'll just turn this machine off because it's deep and I don't want to use the metal. Now, I truly believe it probably goes a little bit deeper than the CTX, but saying that, there's a lot of extras on the CTX compared to this one. Now I've got my trusty old Garrett. Turn it on. So my target is about where that minty wrapper is. So I'll stick my screwdriver in. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Try and find it. There's something here, uh, and after all that, it's just a pull tab. But again, pretty impressive. This pull tab was only a, probably an inch under the ground, and this detector, well, both of them picked it up eight or nine inches deep, about three quarters. Anyway, I'm going to have a little bit more of a walk around and see if we can 
find one more that I can actually compare to.